Okay, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Chris. If you've not been here before, I check out kind of entry-level bikes, review them, and tell you kind of what they're about. So you don't need to go anywhere. You can just sit right where you are and enjoy. All right, let's get to it. Today we're going to be checking out the Trek Merlin series versus the Trek Dual Sport series. We get a lot of requests for this because obviously they both do a similar kind of thing. They're both entry-level bikes where you can ride them around town, do some light trails with them. So which is the best bike to choose? Let's go over the kind of main points to them. All right, so with the Trek Merlin series, they come in multiple wheel sizes. Generally, medium and larger are all in a 29 inch rim. Small and extra small are in a 27 and a half. And now for the 2022 models, looks like Trek is releasing a 26 inch wheel option in extra, extra small frame. This option will fit most likely people under five foot. So it's more like the juniors coming off the Roscoe 24s, the Precal 24s, or a 24 inch bike, not big enough for that 27 and a half inch standover, making this perfect size range. So I don't think many adults are gonna get it. Obviously the shorter people out there, so maybe, but it's really gonna open up the transition world from junior bikes to adult bikes. When you look at the dual sport though, they are one size fits all, and that's a 700C. Now 700C does fit very similar to a 29, but the tires which are on both of them are completely different. We'll show you a couple options and go from there. So this here is a Trek Merlin 5 and with the small frame and this is a 27 inch and this is a 27 inch rim with a a kind of big beefy tire on it. As you can see the width is about the same on all of them. They're all beefy, but if you come over here, this is a 700C tire with a tire on it. Much slimmer, not as bulky, not as tall, and then on top of that, a lot slimmer. So be noted, um, that last bike I showed you was not a dual sport. We're completely sold out, so get in and get your order in if you're wanting something like that. Um, but that is the exact same wheel that is on the dual sports. So what's the benefits or disadvantages of this? On the Trek Merlin, that bigger, wider tire is gonna give you more traction and better off-road capability. The downside to that is, it is gonna be a little more effort to roll on that flat pavement. The Dual Sport is gonna be able to handle those off-road terrains, but you won't be able to take the speed round corners or over obstacles anywhere near as fast, but you'll be able to roll a lot faster with a lot less effort in town, so that's kind of nice. So neither option's bad for the in-town riding. If you're looking for faster, less effort, go with a slimmer tire. If you're looking for more off-road capability and you might be going everywhere or your bike path system isn't great, so you might have more gravel um, or dirt paths, the Merlin will be a better fit for that because you can just go through any terrain, no matter the weather where it's rained, it's muddy, the Merlin's gonna get more traction than the dual sport. Suspension-wise, the Trek Merlin has a lot more travel, so that's how much room the suspension can actually move. This means that on off-road situations, again, big bumps, rolling over rocks or logs or whatever you're doing, it's gonna have more play in that suspension to take it, absorb it, you don't feel it as much. Downside to it though is they weigh a little bit more and if you were climbing a big hill or really pedaling hard, that's more stroke for the bike to absorb and your energy isn't transferred to the wheel, the suspension's literally absorbing it. When you go to the dual sport, there's less suspension travel, so it's a lighter weight fork as well, less suspension play on those heavier pedaling times. There is options between both models to have a lockout, so that's kind of nice, but that changes. Realistically, both could do a bit of either, um, I don't think you'll really notice the suspension until you go into crazy off-road kind of scenarios where you'll appreciate the Marlins more on-road. Apart from the weight differences, which you're, you're only talking a pound or two in the overall bike scheme of things, um, I don't think you'll you'll really notice the difference between the Marlin and the, the dual sport setup. Gear ranges is where it really changes now. So the Trek Merlins on the four, five, and six, you have two or three chain rings on the front, and then seven to eight on the back. 
this makes it a nice wide range commuting setup that you're gonna find a nice gear to pedal in that when you're pedaling to work and you wanna get there fast but not sweaty, it's gonna have that gear which is perfect for you. As you go up six, seven, eight, you're losing a few gears. So on the six, you got the two on the front, you might lose a bit of the low range or high range depending what kind of terrain you're pedaling in. On the seven, you're not gonna have that multiple chain ring, you just have one on the front and on the eight, it's going to a one on the front as well. This really limits kind of the finer increments in the rear end. So you may not have that perfect commuting pace where you're either pedaling a little slower than you wanted to or a little faster. Dual sports are the same, but always compensate losing the front gears by adding more rear gears. In town, there's really no downside to having a crazy amount of options. The chain can be loose and bouncing around because you're never gonna go off-road trail riding where your chain's slapping around, potentially falling off, having trouble shifting because it's bouncing around as much. On the Merlins, as you get higher end, you're going towards mountain bike specific to focus on things like a tighter chain attachment to the bike so it's not gonna flap around as much, it's not gonna bounce around, it's just gonna shift a lot faster and more efficiently in the off-road side of things. So to simplify all that, the gear ranges on the dual sports are much better for in-town riding and keeping a consistent pace. The Merlins are designed in the higher end one, six and up, to start turning into more mountain biking. Six, I still think, is a great option for commuting. You still get the two on the front, you still get eight on the back, nice wide range, simple setup. It's gonna work really well, but also really well in the off-road side of things. I think that's really one of the optimal setups. In the five, they are switching to a two by as well, so that's gonna be a really nice optimal setup for both as well. With the dual sport, it is a huge range of options. You're gonna be able to pedal really fast, but in your off-road side of things, it's not gonna shift as kind of nicely in those bumpier situations. In smooth trails, it'll be fine, no problem. They all come with normally higher end shifting in the same price points, but, the rougher the terrain, the worse it's gonna kinda react and handle. Both of them will have aluminum frames, so both lightweight, relatively easy to carry, both around that 30 pound mark, so I wouldn't really take too much into that. The Dual Sport is definitely lighter overall, so if you're kinda carrying it into an office building or storage, that is kinda nice, but it's not huge. Geometry-wise, the Dual Sports do sit slightly more upright in a slightly more comfortable position, um, this makes it just a little more comfy for commuting. You take the bit of weight off the front end because you won't be needing that weight on the front wheel. Um, with the Merlins, you do get a little more mountain bikey geometry, so your weight is a bit more on the front wheel. This allows you to have more traction when you're going around a corner, especially off-road. You want that weight on the front wheel so it actually turns as opposed to slides around where it wants. So the benefit of the Merlin is it's gonna handle better in off-road. Minorly not as comfortable as the dual sport, but it's not huge. Um, things like comfort grips, which come on the four, five, six, um, will even make up for that. It'll just give you a little more hand grips. They come with the dual sports as well. The dual sport is a comfier bike. I mean, there's no saying it, but overall use usability, the Marlin is there. Brake-wise, they all come with disc brake now. I don't think there's a dual sport available with rim brakes anymore. Um, some are cabled, same with the Marlin, some are hydraulic. And they kind of, the more you spend, the better they are. There's nothing too crazy different about them. You know, a little bit throughout the price ranges, but it's really not that big of a deal. They all come with great brakes. You'll be fine. There's no competition there. They're about even. Um, overall, for usability of a bike, if you are gonna be doing an unknown amount of everything, the Merlin is gonna be it. It's always gonna be it because it's gonna be a, just a better bike to choose in the situation of, I don't know where I'm going, I don't know what footpath I'm taking or off-road trail, it's gonna be more usable. And you can always switch out those big wide tires if you find you're doing a lot of commuting to a slimmer, faster rolling tire, which still has some good traction for off-road, but, that's something you can do later on. With the Dual Sport, it is designed for kind of paths. So a man-made path, whether it's gravel or mainly paved, hard-packed stuff, that's what it's really designed for. Yes, you can go off-road to that kind of single track stuff. It is definitely not designed for it. You will be going much slower than you would on a track Merlin. So accessory-wise, they're both 
stocked really well. You can put all the rear racks on both of them. It doesn't matter on the model. It is fantastic that way. You can't really go wrong with either option. Versatility wise, I choose the Trek Marlin every single time. So hopefully this helps uh, someone figure out what the difference between the two are and guide them to where they're going. My overall opinion is when in doubt, go with like a Trek Marlin style bike. You can go anywhere with it. You know, unless you're a high speed commuter and you really need the effort, um, the dual sport is great, but the Merlin in my mind will just do everything and you don't need to worry. All right, take that as you will. And um, that is just my opinion of it all. Definitely, I think, especially for my area, the Merlin is more versatile. You let me know down below in the comments if you think that's your choice or if I'm completely wrong and out to lunch. Otherwise, um, like this video if it helped you out, share it, subscribe if you'd want. Otherwise, good luck guys, thank you.